Hey, I got a quick update for you. Uh, remember these batteries that we were doing? These guys right here, right? Remember, uh, we showed you how to make a cable so you can connect them. The cable looked like this, right? And a lot of you guys are doing that. The guys bought, uh, buying a bunch of these and probably I'm thinking that you guys are either making this connector or just cutting these things and then making your own arrangement, right? Well, remember I told you I was going to make something for this to make it really easy? Well, I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm done with one of them. See that one there? That is the little power strip, right? It's got nine little things and it connects them in series. It connects them, uh, these in series, this three in series, and then parallel to each, right? So three sets of three uh, in series and then parallel, right? And so this what it allows them to make these weirdly arranged batteries of 5S lithium iron phosphate, you know, 16 volts uh, into 48 volts, which is like exactly 48, 15S, Lithium iron phosphate works out to be a, uh, a pretty legit and very common uh, 48 volts, right? So now that I uh, designed this or whatever, then next thing that happened was, boom, PCB way, our sponsor, uh, our channel sponsor sent me some, right? And so this is pretty cool because for the first time I'm able to get these different colors and let me tell you, they look pretty awesome. And they seem like there's so much better quality. Seems like this paint stuff, it's like thicker. I don't know, for some reason, these boards seem thicker and just much better. Um, so what I did is I grabbed these and what I ended up doing is I just populated one. Bam, there we go. So we just, this is simple stuff. You just, look at that, I didn't even, solder all these pins because not, I'm not using all of them. So I was using the first two, right? But you could do it if you want. And then I just put an XD90 in here. Now let's see how that works over here. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're just going to, these three are gonna go into this three right here, right? And then that's how it goes. So you put that one there and you put that one there and um, you don't have to do this, but I'm just plugging two first, and then I'm leaving the last one at the very top uh, till the last, just because that is the one that will connect all of them. So once you connect this one, all of a sudden now this gets energized with 48 volts. Before that, nothing happens, because there we go. So that's what that looks like. There we go. Yeah, then we just plug that cable in here and then we'll see. There you go. Now it's charging at uh, 547. So around 550, 400, 500. Yeah, about 550 watts. At this voltage, that's what that will do, right? And um, yeah, so now what you do is you just find a box for these and then you can put them on there and then to charge them you just put a charger a 13s or a 48 volt lithium charger in here and then you can charge them uh that way so this is a very very simple system right you just you charge these batteries up and then you discharge them and you charge your blue eddy right i i don't know if i mentioned but i'm also making another more advanced system this is going to go here this one's gonna have, uh, you know, it's gonna have a fuse, it's gonna have a meter, right, to measure the capacity, uh, and, you know, it'll give you, like, a percentage of where the uh, the battery packs are at. And then I, I have another little section here that is gonna allow you to first balance these for the first time. If they are not balanced, then you can plug them in here and then charge them. I will... Uh, supply the the like the link so that you can order the parts in case you have to do that now if you don't have to do that then you don't have to you don't have to do that and you don't have to populate this this section of the board but uh this one is designed for this box here and it's going to go in here right and this is the easy part it's already done 
here's the prototype that I use and here's the little, you know, thing, meter that I'm gonna use. But the stuff that is gonna take time is this. This is the front plate. And, uh, oh my God, it's so noisy. So this is the meter and then this is that plug right there. And I wanted to do this so that it remains, uh, you know, shallow. So it doesn't, so, so it's flush, so it doesn't interfere. And then there's gonna be a connector here for the charger. Uh, so anyways, I still have to work on this and I have to finish it. Uh, and once that's done, I'll make a video for this. But this simple one, well, that was done. You guys can order these parts. I'm gonna put the link, I'm gonna submit this to PCBWay, and then you could just go and download the file and print it yourself, or you can actually order it there, and then you can get it and then um, uh, populate it yourself. Or if not, then eventually, if you give me enough time to order these, I just order 500 of these little connectors, then uh, we'll have uh, someone here in house um, build these ready to go so that you can just order them with your batteries and then all you have to do is find a box to put this in there and then plug it in to your blue eddy but this adds like 3.2 3.3 kilowatt hours to that which makes that now a five kilowatt hour battery pack basically like the ep500 from blue eddy except it's the ac200 right and uh uh, and yeah, this is a very cheap way, an easy way to just add way more battery to your to your existing uh, solar charge controller or power pack or whatever you want to call it. All right, this is just a quick video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you are interested in getting these, follow the links in the description. I will list everything that you need to make this happen. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.